Okay, so this is my uh, my alter, alter ego, the only one that doesn't have my real name. Uh, I send people to the account with my real name, but people who find that account first, they have to work pretty hard to find my real name. But anyways, here's my comment. I said, there will come a day where the world is so wicked, God won't even let you say the phrase, grace alone through faith alone and Christ alone. The day is already here for me, but the day is coming soon for you too. Grace alone through faith alone and Christ alone was once a way to find God, but it's now almost entirely a doctrine of demons and has been for a while. When the meme was invented, it was loaded up with natural theology like the rest of the Bible, but it no longer means what it used to mean. I am glad you can use phrases like that with a clean conscience, but I cannot. God bless you, brother. Praying for your awesome videos. Stay holy, stay righteous, stay, stay true, stay righteous, stay holy. He responds, we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone. Or, no, I'm sorry. We're saved by grace alone, through faith alone. When a person exercises true saving faith, they are born again. When a person is born again, they will produce a transformation. The works that come from the transformation are not meritorious of salvation in any way, but rather are the evidence of the born-again experience. This is the gospel, good news, of grace alone. I said amen because I agree with that definition of uh, grace alone, faith alone, Christ alone. And this is why I'm making the video. He says, I won't let them steal our words. And I think that's a really good point. So I want to uh, tell Lion um, a fire... What's his name? Ryer? What the heck? At Lion of Fire Ra. That's weird. Um, yeah, so... Um, I disagree until I read this comment, and now I agree. So I've been completely transformed by this comment. Um, so, yeah. I think... Um, Yeah, the Lord's actually been putting it on my heart to steal the devil's words. Uh, words like fuck, words like shit. Um, like, like swear words like that, to steal those back. And the devil, you know, he's not going to, he, he's like, yeah, you could have those words. But let me take grace alone, faith alone, Christ alone. So now I'm thinking... Maybe I should just let the devil have the fuck and the shit. Because no one will understand. Anyway, if I try to steal those words, they might not even get it. But, um... But, yeah, I don't know. I'll I'll do what the Holy Spirit wants me to do, but... This, this really... It's a battle over words. It's a battle over definitions. You know? And... Our lexicon has a certain number. Our phrases, the devil, if he steals them all, the response should not be, okay, I, he stole it, so I'm not going to use it anymore. No, we need to yell louder. This is the right, this is the definition. The faith alone triggers the um, the fruits. You go to Christ alone. You know, a lot of people, they try to add add in a lot of works to that initial salvation hit when it's really Christ alone giving your full heart to him. That's what ends up accessing the works, the produced works. So Lion of Ra, Lion, what's his name? In this video, I'm going to dem... Lion of Fire Ra. Lion of Fire Ra. It reminds me of Proverbs 28, 1. The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Uh, so lions are was my favorite animal growing up. Now I like bunny rabbits because of the pun. It's a hair I see. It's a heresy. And I did some research on bunny rabbits, but lions are probably my number two. Let's close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Lord, thank you so much for everything that you've done, everything that you're doing. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for 
casting all the demons out of me earlier. Um, Lord, I don't want any demons in me. Lord, I really just want to get on my hands and knees and worship God. All I want to do is love the Lord with all my heart, mind, and strength. And Lord, putting an emphasis on works is going to be really harmful to people who are not born again, who don't know Christ, who don't know the Lord. And I think this guy is absolutely right that we cannot let the devil steal our terms, steal our memes, steal our phrases. I mean, we should just be powerhouse blasting out the truth and every once in a while expose the evils of changing the definition of our words and bash the devil a little bit, but speak the truth most of the time as a percentage, maybe. I mean, this guy is probably his, his I mean, his, his calling is to uh, bash the devil with a lot of his videos and then speak the truth. And some people, they just have a calling to speak the truth and that's fine. But Lord, I um, I agree with him, and I am humbled by this. If the devil steals your term, don't stop using it. In fact, you should use it more now, now that it's been stolen. It's just so everyone's clear that we're going to war over these important terms. You know, I'm not going to let the devil steal the word repent, that's for sure. So why would I let him take one of our best memes. It doesn't make any sense. We are saved by grace alone, it, through faith alone and Christ alone. And just because it's obvious doesn't mean we need to stop using it. In fact, it means we need to use it more because, Lord, I, I, I underestimate the stupidity of man. They're so stupid that uh, that not only do they not know I mean, it, I, I've actually seen a video. What do you think about Lee Harvey Oswald shooting Jesus in the back of the head with a gun? Do you think gun laws would have stopped Lee Harvey Oswald from murdering Jesus with a gun in the 16th century? And he says, no, I don't think the gun laws stop anything. Oh, Lord, I, 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 I'm so sorry for my sins and what I've done and People that are extremely righteous underestimate the evil of the world. People that are extremely smart underestimate the stupidity of man. Sometimes. And uh, I think we all underestimate the stupidity of man. And Job fifteen sixteen, such great abomination is man who drinks iniquity like it's water. Jeremiah seventeen nine, the heart is desperately wicked without gear. Proverbs twenty verse six, Proverbs twenty verse nine, Proverbs sixteen verse two. All men are clean in their own eyes. Lord weighs the spirits. The thought of foolishness is sin and how much sin is in the world. You can't just be spirit-filled and it's, now that you're spirit-filled, it's like, okay, I guess there's no evil anymore. I guess there's no stupidity anywhere. There is. And Lord, I know the devil is powerful, but let's crush the devil. Let's destroy him. Please, Lord, help us. Please, Lord, help us. Um, we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone, which is preceded by and followed by repentance, a turning away from sin, a moving towards God. And those who know the Lord will know the Lord more. And Lord, to access you through faith alone and then not preach it, um, I think is messed up. And Lord, I am... Um, I am humbled by this gospel, um, and uh, I pray that you may help me preach it again, that I may give it to the LDS people and the Mormons, the LDS missionaries. I think this is a sign from God, and I need to have a revolution and a revival in those people. Um, thank you for uh, Brad Wilcox and his talk and his speech, where he pretty much said that. But Lord, I do have a sick, sick, sick calling. And uh, it's fun. It's going to be fun. 
please help us love and have fun and and preach grace alone through faith alone and Christ alone. In Jesus' name. So that happened. Amen.